Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is teleport. Let me run through our quick little example here. I'll hit play, and let's move this on the X two hundred. And you'll notice the item shifted. We could do, for example, negative two hundred, and it shifts to the right. It's teleporting using the teleport node, and it's moving instantly to the location. It has a few caveats. It has a few things we're going to cover. But basically, it's for instantaneous movement where things like physics and such are not going to occur. So let's look at our teleport node. It's pretty simple. Let me unhook it, and I'll show you how it works. Teleport node takes an actor. It's going to need an actor. In this case, it's the box I'm creating. And you're going to fill in a location and a rotation. There is no scale here, so it's not taking a transform. It just wants a location where it's going to get to and the rotation where it's going to be rotated at, a rotator. Now, there's a reason why it's asking for the rotation. Let me plug in my location, and my location is just simply the numbers I'm typing in. If we read the notes, it says it teleports the actor to a new location. If the actor doesn't fit exactly at the location specified, tries to slightly move it out of walls and such. And this is important to note. That is why there's a rotation. Fi uh, not physics. Collision does work when you are teleporting. Let me show you. Let me go ahead and hit play. And here's my Y. My Y is this direction. We'll adjust my Y. And you'll notice something. You notice it kind of stops. Here, let's go to something like this. And we'll move it back. Somewhere around the... 240 mark it stops and you notice how my numbers keep going up and then eventually when my number is past the point of the wall it will continue on the other side so for example let's say I wanted to teleport from where it was now to 250 you're gonna see it stops let's say I wanted to move it to 300 actually let's go back first and we'll move to 300 you'll notice it's going to fail it cannot move from the current location to 300. 300 is inside of this wall, so it's going to fail. Now when it fails, it's going to return back something here. So for example, we could do print string, and we'll go ahead and play again. We'll tell it to move to 100, and we get hello. It worked fine. Uh, that would be the wrong... There we go. Let's try it like this. Let's actually print out true or false. Okay, so we'll do 200. And you'll notice, did I fail? Where did I fail at here? No, it should have been fine. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, it's because I unchecked print to screen. Oi. Okay. Fifth or sixth time? This should work this time. Let's move it over 100, and we'll see true. It was able to successfully move it. Let's move it to 300. You'll notice false. The movement from here to here, the teleport failed because it could not fit in that spot due to collision, and it, it didn't work. I could do 400, well, it's going to fail. 450, true. And you'll notice it's on the other side. It's not going to collide at all. And, of course, it's the same thing for any of my directions. I could do 0, 0. It's not going to go into the wall. It's going to fail. Now, if I was to slowly move this, um, let's, put it back to, let's put it back to 150, so it's above the ground, and let's slowly move this down. And if we look... We can get this to about, I think, 75 or so before it hits the ground. You notice it's at 75, and it's near the ground. We could do something like 73. It's closer. 72 is going to get us even closer. And at one point, it's going to stop because it can no longer get any closer due to collision. So like 71 and 50 are going to give me the same results. This is as far as it can go down. It can't go any further down because it's basically at the floor. Now, if I was to slightly move it in based on collision, it'll try to go out a little bit. But for the most part, it's going to fail due to collision. And I can show you it's failing due to collision, and there's something important to note about it. This is slightly different than the setting location nodes. The set location nodes right here, if we look at them when they sweep for physical interaction and triggers, it only checks the root component. Teleport will not just check the root component. Let me pull up my box. 
And let's find it. And it's right here. Now my box is a static mesh as the parent with block all set for collision. In addition to that, there is a box collider on it, which is set to block all. When we run this, of course, and we try 300 for the Y, it stopped. It's blocked. If we take off block all and we set it to no collision on the parent, and we go ahead and hit play again, and we do 300, you'll notice, well, it's going to get stopped. If we try something like 350, it's going to make it through. Let's try something like 325, and you'll notice it's jumping back and forth. Actually, if we look at that, you'll notice 350 is all the way on the other side a little bit. It's actually up against the wall. Let's move it back to zero, and let me show you what happens. You'll notice it stops, and then it goes through. But you'll notice it's true every single time. Well, what's happening is, let's go into here. Let's show collision and hit play. And we'll go and run this through. And of course, it, oh, let's see, show collision. I think that'll do it. I hate visualizing collision. It did do it, right? Show collision. Oh, there we go. Maybe that'll work better. There we go. So there is a collision on this box right here. And as we move it through, say 325, it's trying to get it into this area. And what's happening is our collision box inside of here. Our cube is working successfully. There's no collision, so therefore it's trying to move the cube, our actor, because we're teleporting an actor, and the cube is working fine. It's teleporting successfully. The problem is the box itself right here, this box collision as a child, has collision. So when it attempts to teleport to the correct spot, which is this spot, oops, which is right here, when we tell it to teleport, so 325, the box itself, this static mesh, is teleporting inside of our location. And then the box collision is pushing it out. Because when it says it teleports it, it tells it it tries to slightly move it out of walls and such if it doesn't fit exactly. That's because the actor itself can fit. The actor, this cube, has no collision, so it will fit. However, the box collider is then interacting once it lands at the teleport destination and pushing it out. If I was to do no collision on my box collider as well, and we run this, go and set this to 325, and you notice it's now inside the wall. And of course we can adjust this and you'll see it go through smoothly. It's true every single time and nothing's colliding. So that is something to note. Let me turn that collision back on to block and hit play. We're going to see true the entire time. Technically, the static mesh, this physically looking cube, is not being blocked and it is teleporting. It's just our box collision is pushing it back out. Once, of course, we turn the collision back onto our box and we hit play. Now, of course, we're going to get what we expect. False. It cannot teleport to 325. There, physically is not able to. There's no spot based on collision to go inside, so it's going to fail. So it's only going to give us true if it actually can move somewhere. That side of the wall, that side of the wall, and anywhere in the wall is going to be false. So something to keep in mind, unlike the teleport, not the teleport, unlike the set location node, which is just going to check the route, this one will have issues if children and parents both have collision volumes or collision settings. And you may get a weird effect like, why is it teleporting into the wall? It says it can teleport. It gave me a good teleport, but it's outside the wall. You might have a child with collision, for example, that's causing the issue. The output value, as I noted, is of true or false. And it's just going to be whether or not it was successfully able to teleport. And that's going to be it. That is our teleport node. Targeting an actor takes in a location and rotation. It's going to make sure there's a valid place for it to go to based on the actor or the root's collision settings. And it's just meant to move things if you don't need to worry about sweeping or triggering or doing collisions or having volumes activate and you just want something to move from one place to another.